You need to get a website up fast and don't want to spend hours watching tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use child themes to set up a fully functional website and take it to production in a matter of minutes with WordPress. This is the condensed version of a talk I recently gave about how to launch a beautiful site fast and affordable. I cut out all the questions and discussion topics for those of you who just want the cliff notes. If you find the content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more tricks to simplify web creation for selling online. So whether it's your first site or you're just looking for tricks for launching sites quickly, let's dive in. Okay, so now we're on the back end of a brand new WordPress website with nothing installed other than the Divi theme. So if I come here to the front end, you're going to see a blank canvas, basically. This is what Divi looks like out of the box. No shit, Sherlock. What we're going to want to do immediately is we're going to head on over to Appearance and Themes, and we're going to install the Divi e-commerce child theme by my company. So we're over here, and you see that the parent theme, Divi, is already installed, and it's really, really going to be important that you make sure that Divi is installed and activated before you use any child theme because Divi is the parent theme that the styling is going to adopt from. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit add new. We're going to upload a new theme and we are going to choose the Divi e-commerce theme. So I have it here on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit act, you know, choose file and then I'm going to hit install now. We're going to give that a few seconds to go ahead and install. And once it's done, we're going to go ahead and select activate. And once this child theme is activated, you're going to notice that your themes, now the active theme is the Divi e-commerce theme. You're going to come down here to this new, newly created tab called Divi e-commerce. And when you click this, it's going to want you to put in your license key. Let's go ahead and put that one in and hit activate. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the plugins that come with this child theme. So up here at the top, just simply click begin installing child theme. You're going to want to go ahead and select all of the plugins, hit the drop down menu, select install and hit apply. Now that it's done, we're going to hit return to, to required plugins installer. And we're going to select all of them again, and we're going to hit activate and we're going to hit apply. You're going to want to select the Divi e-commerce tab, and we're going to import the demo data. And now it's going to give you, you know, what do you want to choose to install? We're going to go ahead and install everything. So select import demo data. And now this process is going to take a few minutes, but we're going to let it get installed. Okay. Now that the import is complete, we're going to go on to our next step, which we're going to set our homepage and our blog page. So we're going to want to over, head over to the settings tab, select reading. And under this tab, we're going to choose select a static page for the home page. We're going to go ahead and set home page one for the post page. We're going to go ahead and set the news page and select save changes. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to set up our Instagram feed. So we're going to head over to Instagram feed and settings, and we're going to go ahead and connect an Instagram account. And We've got a personal account that we're going to connect to this one. And we're going to allow smash balloon personal information, yada, yada. And we're going to go ahead and connect this account. And once that account is successfully connected, we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. We're going to go to the customize tab and we're going to change a few settings here and we're going to we're going to only choose to show uh, nine photos and we're going to go ahead and do nine columns. We're going to leave that to 5px and this box is already unchecked. So we're going to leave that as is and we're going to hit save changes. So here under the header section, you're going to notice show feed header. You're going to want to uncheck that box. Uh, when you scroll down some more, you're going to see show show the load more button. We're going to want to uncheck that. I'm going to save each section as I do it. 
Once you have the Instagram feed plugin uh, set up, you're going to head over to your WooCommerce settings tab and head to the general tab. And you're going to need to enter your information. So I'm currently in Ashland, Oregon. I put my zip code there. I want to go ahead and update it to USD to my currency options. Uh, since I'm in the United States, wherever you're located, you're going to want to set that to and simply hit Save Changes. And once those changes are saved, you're going to head over to the Products tab because we're going to want to set our shop page. Now, you'll notice that it's it's set to a shop page, but you're going to want to go ahead and hit the drop-down menu, scroll to the bottom, and select the shop page that comes with the child theme because that's going to populate the um, child theme with your products and stuff. You can change the uh, kilograms to pounds and the centimeters to inches so that you're in the US. Simply hit save changes. Next thing you're going to do is head over to the advanced tab and we're going to go ahead and set up the um, shop. So we're going to choose the whoops. I don't know why my mouse is freaking out. And I'm going to set that up. We're going to make sure that we have the checkout page set up to there. The account page is set up to my account. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to scroll down and we're going to hit save changes. And then that should be it. We're going to head over to the front end of the website. And we should have a fully functional e-commerce website installed now. So I'm going to go ahead head to the front end. And as you can see, we went from a blank Divi template to a full functioning e-commerce website that's completely styled out uh, with your Instagram feed set up here in the website. So if I come over here and select shop, I'm going to notice that all of the shop products have populated. If I select any of the products, all of the styling that comes in with that child theme has come in. Well, that's huge. As I was showing you in the very beginning, the demo site looked exactly like this. Well, how fast did we get this site up and running quickly? So what you can do is come in and, you know, focus on what it is that you want to focus on for your business. You can choose which homepage you'd like to choose, homepage one or homepage two, and then you can start branding it with your own logo, images, content, copy and stuff and the website is done. That's how